I describe as a cross between Clark Kent and uh, Austin Powers. With crazy but uh, good ideas, you know. He's very vocal, he attracts news and publicity. And it's not a bird or a plane, it's Cameron Brewer from Newmarket's Business Association. And Lower Hutt's mayor wants one, just like him. He's really out there making the place uh, in the forefront of people's minds, and that's what I want to happen here. Brewer himself seems more impressed by the idea than by the flattery. Good on Hutt City Council for taking the initiative and putting their money where their mouth is by funding a retail coordinator. I don't quite know if they could cope with someone like me, though. So if Ogden can't lure Brewer down from upmarket Newmarket, he wants someone like him to spruce up Lower Hutt City. Well, it's getting around, it's talking to the landlords, it's talking to retailers, getting them enthused. Lower Hutt has 24 vacant stores at the moment. You know, we've got a recession, we've got some people have moved out of their shops and are still paying rent, so the landlords are not so keen to get any sort of activity. They're quite happy getting a return. Brewer says the key to Newmarket's success is to promote everything that's good and fix anything that's wrong. Crime is down, thanks partly to security cameras. And the Business Association does a lot of advertising and marketing. We're just out there passionate about new market, and that's what Lower Hutt probably needs, someone who's out there passionate, who can live and breathe the dream. Brewer says applicants for the part-time role need to be great communicators. 90% of my job is communicating uh, both with our members, with our board, and most importantly, with the New Zealand public. The new market advocate says Lower Hutt's new town manager will need to work out the city's point of difference. He suggests developing closer links with the big shopping mall, Westfield Queensgate. Five, ten years ago, we were fighting with Westfield uh, here in Newmarket, but now we're now working with them, and subsequently they've done this fabulous development here in Nuffield Street. Brewer says it's taken about four years to make big changes in Newmarket, but Lower Hutt's mayor wants to see results quickly. Well, I want it to happen by next year, you know. You know, a short time frame. I need things to happen. We're not doing here to pay someone to do nothing. Meanwhile, less than four kilometres away and still in Lower Hutt, Petoni is thriving. But it's taken more than ten years to get Jackson Street looking this good. Ogden says Petoni used to have about 30 empty shops. Now there are more than 35 cafes and restaurants, so that, plus supportive property owners, the Jackson Street programme and some restoration have all helped boost its appeal.